cash gate just broke. I didn't keep an eye on my miles. Uh huh. And I'm over there at that church, kind of catty corner, because it was like the. I was at that light, and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? I didn't want to be broke down on the side. Is there any way anybody could spare a gallon of gas? I could get off and get to the gas station. Spare a gallon of gas? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know how to ask for it. This hasn't happened to me in a long time, man. Ever since the gauge broke, I was able to, you know, judge my miles and get in there before it happened, but this time it happened. Do you know how to siphon? <sighs> I mean, I'm so sorry. Are you able to siphon out of that tube right there? I don't think the tube is long enough to do it. Really? If I had a tube, I'd probably be able to do it. I make myself sick, but I'd probably be able to do it. So I could probably, I mean, I don't have a tube, but I don't know if anybody that would actually have a tube on them like that. And this is the only place I can tell, like, man, I didn't know. I looked over and I seen a, a business, I was like, man, maybe somebody that might have a gas. It's come off pretty easy, this tube thing here. Uh, I don't know, I've never tried to take it off. It looks like it's If you could try to take it off, maybe we could try to siphon some. I just got a full tank, so I could probably give you some out of there. So I can well, get you to where you need to, you know, there's like a gas station down there. Where are you at exactly? Where's your vehicle? At that church right there. That mosque? Yeah, the mosque, yeah. I, I walked all the way around that thing, knocking on the doors, everything. Nobody nobody came out or nothing. I was like, going to see if they could help out. Oh, okay. But no. Nobody came to the door or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, man, like I said, I could probably siphon some out of my, my, out of my tank to help you out or whatever. Yeah. Well, I have a full tank, so maybe I could start trying to, you know what I mean? I would give it a try. Alright. But it's gonna come out quick. Oh, it doesn't even fit in there. Alright, let me see if I got something in my trunk that might be able to. I got all kind of crap in my trunk. Let me check it out real quick. Oh, sorry. Damn, I can't believe that. Oh boy, what do I have? Jeez. So you just uh you don't have any money to get any or just what Well I, I left my debit card at the house. You left your debit card at the house. I just ran up to go get something to grab something to eat. I realized I didn't have it, and I turned around to go back home, and then it was doo -doo 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 -doo, started puttering out. I could probably give you some cash, man, so you could, I mean, there's a gas station. If you walk down this road and head down to, and the first light you come to down this road will be Imperial, I believe. You make a right, and I believe there's like a, it's an Exxon at the corner of Imperial 1960. Okay. So I could probably spot you some cash. What government agency do you work for? Is it FBI or CIA or something like that? No, nothing like that. The reason why I was parked at the mosque the other day was because I was actually extra early to work. So, I'm not a terrorist or anything like that. I just stopped by there to get some peace from these agents that they have harassing me all day and night. Really? So, you can tell them that I'm not a terrorist. That you're not in on this? Dude, going on I just like that? take care of my son. I go to work. I work like 16-hour shifts almost every day, and I take care of my son. Really? Apparently, they have me on some kind of fucking list or watch list or something like that. I've lived in Nigeria when I was younger. You're kidding me. I lived in Nigeria when I was younger. My dad's from Nigeria. We went over there because of his job. Right. He worked for, like, the CDC or... Um, he also did some stuff for American Cancer Society. Yeah. So, we lived over there for a while. So, I don't know. They've been having people, like, approach me and ask me weird shit. And I know I'm aware of who they are. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're just putting on a good front. But, uh, hey, dude, look. dude, I have hey, no serious intentions. On, I was in my flip-flops. Yeah, I, was like, I hear you, man. Dude, they have all kind of characters come through. Like, they're all kind of people that they use for agents. So, I'm not retarded. I know what's going on. But no. maybe you're part of it. Maybe you're not. No, no, no. But in good dude. faith, I'll help you out, man, because that's the type of person that I am. Have you ever uh, checked out the industry.com? No, what is that? One with about the music and stuff and about the uh, Illuminati and it's about, um, basically, it gears all towards the music and the, the sub bass lines and uh, the imagery that they use, like, subliminally in it 
to push across to, I, I would say, to the younger gender or anybody that's actually listening to it. Yeah. And uh, that was one that kind of got me in, you know, like conspiracies or even like, not even, that's a, really not even a conspiracy to me because I watched this movie Wishmaster. Wishmaster was made like, what, like 90s? Something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. There's a scene in there where the girl is having a dream about fucking Jeannie or whatever. And is it the first one or the second one or is it the first one? The okay. very first one. She wakes up in the dream. She jumps up in her bed. For some reason, she gets up out of her bed, walks to the kitchen, and it's got these copper tiles as a backsplash on the kitchen. And the very last copper tile, which just happened to be, I can't remember if it was the third or the sixth tile, but it's got the, the, uh, uh, cr- uh dang it, what is it? The square and the, uh, compass or compass, whatever. There yeah. You go. The square and the compass. Mm. And it has a G down in there and all that shit like that. And I was like, man, there is something to this shit. Because it's everywhere. The very first video MTV did, Money for Nothing and the Chicks for Free. I can't remember who did it. I think it was a guy from Tire Straight. But uh, that video there was the first one I've seen, and it had imagery in that one. Very okay. first video ever fucking done. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that you're saying that, I hope that that helps you believe that I'm not something like that. But Like I said, they, um, they have so many interesting characters that come my way. Some of them may be part of it, some of them not. It's hard for me to kind of discern sometimes, but like I said, I know what's going on. I'm not a fucking terrorist. I go to work. Well, that's cool. I mean, you ain't gonna I take care of my kid. I try to do, but I, it's hard for me to do that when you have all these people following you around and, like, kind of, you know, doing shit to my vehicle, going into my house when I'm not there. Like, you have to know that these agencies do things like this. But when you try to tell regular people what's going on, they kind of look at you like, no, it's- dude, you're crazy. Like, they, why would the government want you? You're a nobody. Like... Dude, you don't have to be a prominent person no, for in society to, for them to do that. You know, you could have stepped on someone's toes. You could have been the whistleblower. It could, it could have been anything. Well, but my thing is, one, one more thing. If I did something wrong, why not come and arrest me and take me through the court system? Why do I have to go through all this persecution? You know what I mean? Leave that up. So that, that shit is going on like that. Yeah, it's even with the shootings. If you look at, did you hear about the Orlando shooting? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay, they just had a yeah. shooting where they just shot up a whole bunch of people at uh a nightclub in orlando and um you know they uh what was they're, they're trying to get everybody's they're it trying to get over? guns man like what was it based over it like, was based over a guy that was apparently had something to do with isis or something like that and uh he's a muslim and they're trying to play it off like oh it's muslim people this that and the third and they just want people's guns, man. Ultimately, that's what they're going after. They want you know, the, uh... I'm a, I'm a felon, right? Uh-huh. I still have a gun. They ain't gonna get a gun from me. I'm gonna stay with my gun. I'm yeah. a felon behind some shit that I did fucking ten years ago, but nonetheless, I'm still a felon. Right, right. I'm not getting rid of my gun, and if I got a chance to get another one, I'll get another one. Sure, you sure. You know what I mean? But I, I'm not going down nothing like that. Right. I won't take up no more time, man. I'll, like I said, in good faith, I'll give you the money to get you some, some gas or whatever. Um, really? I, don't, I, yeah. I appreciate the 10, and I'll come back and give you change on it, because there's no way I, I need 10. I got a little bit of money at the house, too. I'm still okay. If you want to come back, that's fine, but you know you can keep it if you like. No problem. I, pre- I appreciate it. What no problem, man. My name's Anthony. Anthony Vaughn Lamero. Nice to meet nice you, man. Nice to meet you, too. All right. Check out that industry.com, man. It's a good one. I'll do that. Thank you. Hey, do you need this? I'll toss it if you don't. No, 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 no. I just got it halfway filled up. I knew it was going to be a trip. I got some Thank cold water. Let me give you some cold water, man. I got like a bottle in here. I mean, uh, you're in need. We, people need to learn to, to help. You know what I'm saying? It, it wouldn't hurt to ask. I know, but it's always... Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you, man. Because what they're doing, they're trying to say it's, it's for the sake of national security. So that's why we have to be in people's business. And, but they're not going to admit that they're doing it because they know it's illegal. They know that this shit is fucking illegal. So they're not going to admit that it's going on. <laughs> like crazy ass bastards. <laughs>
Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, amigo? You alright? Yeah, I'm trying to stay cool, man. <laughs> Shit. All right, buddy. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, they got their FBI cronies coming over here. Because the other day, there's like a mosque. He said church. So I'm like, what church? There's no church. You mean that mosque? So, you know, basically ask, you know, he tried to throw that in there. You know, how convenient was that? Or how much of a coincidence is that? I was just over there. Then this shooting happened. So they're trying to figure out, okay, is this guy, <laughs> is he a terrorist? Like, I'm not a fucking terrorist. I guess I, I, like, maybe look like one because I have this thick beard on my face and I stay to myself. I don't really fool around with too many people, but I'm just a regular, everyday person. Like, I don't even, even before they started following me around and harassing me, I never did anything. I was never outgoing. I didn't, you know, I just, I was more like a homebody. Didn't cause, you know, go out there and terrorize people. Anyways, people are going crazy. And it was so obvious he was an agent, you know. It was, it was so obvious because this dude just comes out of nowhere and walks directly towards me. There's a mechanic shop that's across the way that I believe closes at 6. Right now, it's like 12 minutes after 5. I wonder if he even attempted to go across to the mechanic shop because I'm pretty sure they could have spotted him some gas from some car that's already up there. Maybe they have a tank somewhere on the property that they could have given him some gas or even a few dollars. But he walked all the way over here just to talk to me. Anyways, I'm going to end this. I'm probably going to end up putting this on YouTube, which is why I'm kind of continuing uh, talking or whatever. But life of a TI. Bye.